Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this super cute and really easy, kind of like a galaxy look. It's going to be a mom life tumbler. Um, we're going to have some alcohol inks and vinyl and water slides. It's going to be a lot going on, but so super cute. I made one in the past and I was kind of like scrolling through my Instagram the other day, like stalking myself, I guess. <laughs> Just like looking at old tumblers that I've made. And I saw this one and I was like, I have to show you guys how to make it. I totally forgot that I even made it, but it's super cute. So what you're going to need is a tumbler of your choosing. This is a 20 ounce from Maker Flow Crafts and I base painted it white from Rust-Oleum. And then I am using Picasso alcohol inks. I get these from Amazon, so I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. The three in particular that I'm using is Sapphire, Orchid, and Hot Pink. So also what you're going to need to make this is some saran wrap. I got mine from the Dollar Tree, I think. I think it's Glad brand, but I don't, I don't really think the brand matters. But just in case you're wondering, I'm using Glad brand. Um, you're going to want some gloves too because it gets kind of messy. So let's get started. So I pre-cut three pieces of the saran wrap. Um, might take more, might take less, but I think three is a good number to start with. And what I'm going to do first is put on gloves because like I said, this does get super messy. So I'll put a link for these gloves down in the description too. They're also from Amazon. Um, it's what I use for epoxy and spray painting and this as well. Pretty much anything I need to do out here, I use these gloves. So I am going to start by shaking up my alcohol inks because they've been sitting for a while. So you make sure you shake them up really good, get all that color flowing. And as soon as I get the lids off here, I'm not going to do any particular rhyme or reason. Just grab one and start dropping some drops randomly around this saran wrap. And starting off with this one, um, by the time I get to the second or third piece, I might see that I want to add some purple or I want less blue or you know, whatever. So I'll adjust it then. But as for right now, it's just completely random. So what I'm going to do now is very carefully fold this piece of saran wrap in half and kind of pat it to mix these colors. I don't want them to mix into one color, but I just want them to blend a little bit, I guess is the word I should have used, blend, not mix. Now this is kind of hard because you know how sticky saran wrap gets, um, but try to very gently pull it back apart. until it is flattened back out and see how that blended the colors instead of just some dots everywhere. Okay, so I'm trying to keep the wrinkles out of it, but like I said, it's, it's super hard. So now take your tumbler, lay it down, wrap it up and roll it to get it all covered. Make sure you cover the bottom too. And you're just kind of going to pat it. You don't want to rub it because you don't want anything to, you know, smush together and make just a muddy mess. But you do want to pat it on. And it's totally fine um, to get those crinkles. That actually kind of gives it a pretty cool look. So now as soon as I can find where this started, which is somewhere around here. There we go. Unwrap it. And this is why I said you definitely want gloves. Unwrap it and take the colored side, if you can find it, and just kind of pat all over it. Give it a cool textured look. You can even kind of lay it down, feel it. And it dries super, super fast, so you might not get to do this very much before it all dries up, but that's why you want to do this multiple times. So now looking at this, I definitely want less blue and a lot more pink. I'm just going to crumble this up, lay it aside, and I'm going to repeat this process until I am satisfied.
now this is what we have and that's why I said it kind of gives off like a galaxy effect um, I've been kind of scared to try darker colors like greens or maybe even add some black in there because I am afraid it'll look kind of muddy but these are my go-to colors whenever I do this tumbler so I think it looks really pretty there's the bottom as well so now I mean alcohol ink dries so fast it's not sticky like it's ready to go so what I'm gonna do is pop it on my turner back here and add one layer of epoxy i'm going to add some of that helix from the glitter grind in there and make it just absolutely sparkle and look gorgeous and then i'll come back tomorrow and show you the next step so now it's decal day and let me explain to you guys really quickly what i did here you can go to etsy or google or wherever you find your images and you can um just take any messy bun skull is what you want to search for and when i was in cricut design space all i did was kind of turn this into layers so i erased the insides of the sunglasses created them as a separate layer created this whole thing as a separate layer and then on my own um this is a font in cricut design space called noteworthy and i just put hashtag mom life in all caps and then i also have this pink bandana um, which I printed on uh, clear water slide paper and painted it white and sealed it. If you guys have not seen my method on doing this, I will put a video floating up here somewhere for you guys to see that. So now pretty much just like I would if I was doing an offset with text, I'm going to treat this the same way. I am going to put this skeleton here. If I can get it up. There we go. And line it up with the insides of these sunglasses. And I'll make sure to put a link for this vinyl down in the description. It's just from Amazon. Um, I don't think it's Oracle 651 brand. Just something shiny. Now bring it on over here and lastly time to put on the pink bandana so now I'm just going to slide this bandana right on over. Kind of adjust it where I need it to be, which it looks good right about there. And there you go. So it looks super cute. Now I'm going to put it on my turner, put some epoxy on it, and I will come back to show you guys what it looks like completely finished. So after a couple coats of epoxy, she is cute. I am obsessed with these collars together. I think that it looks really, really pretty. It all kind of blends and looks really well. So that is it. She's done. And I'm probably going to have this one up on my website. So keep a lookout for that. And before I go, like always, I have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, when I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. That was said by Willie Nelson. That is all I have for you guys today. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!